Cynthia Ralston, and I'm a cousin and friend of Francine Wickham Jacobs, who is familiarly known as Fran Wickham. Some of you may know her as a classmate of Foundation School. Some of you may know her as a dancer with the Barbados Dance Theater. Some of you may know her as a cultural officer with the NCF. And some of you may know her as a band leader of one Trini and a Bayesian. That's always the first leader on for the morning. And many of you will know her as the manager of Frank Collimer Hall for quite a number of years. She retired two years ago, and she had these elaborate plans for her retirement. She is an artist. You might not know that, but she paints beautiful pictures. And she had planned to start back doing her painting. And she is a fantastic cook. And she wanted to do catering. However, that was not to be. The plans were short-lived as she was struck down by a medical condition called myeloma. Before coming here, I checked with an oncologist to find out exactly what is myeloma. And I'm going to read what she sent to me. Myeloma is a type of blood cancer. It develops from white blood cells in the bone marrow called plasma cells. As bone marrow is found throughout the body, myeloma can affect multiple areas at the same time, and the disease is often called multiple myeloma. Myeloma begins with abnormal plasma cells, known as myeloma cells, and they start multiplying. Normal plasma cells make different types of antibodies to help body fight infections. And abnormal plasma cells make an antibody known as power protein. Because the myeloma cells crowd out the bone marrow, there is less space for normal blood cells to develop and keep you healthy. As a result, a lack of normal plasma cells and other white blood cells can make a person more likely to get infections. Red blood cells can cause fatigue and platelets can cause bleeding and bruising. And because of the effect on the bone and bone marrow, pain and risk of fractures are increased before treatment. So patients may be bedridden initially and will need home help. There's also the need for blood transfusions. Well, I'm here to say that when, probably in October, Fran complained of back pains and leg pains, and she just thought it was sciatica and osteoarthritis. Unfortunately, it became so bad that she couldn't walk very well. And we got her a wheelchair. And she tried to walk at least of the wheelchair to the bathroom and so on, not knowing that that was making it worse. Finally, when she went for the MRI, it was diagnosed as multiple myeloma. myeloma. She had fractures of the vertebra, what I just said, and lesions on the spine. So, she's bedridden. The first benefit show, entitled Dance and Jazz, is scheduled for Sunday, February 13th, 2022, while the second show, entitled Spooge and Calypso, is reserved for Saturday, February 19th, 2022. And both shows will be held here at the highly prestigious Frank Kilmer Hall. No one. So I'll just give you an idea of this spooge. No, I'll give you first a jazz and dance night. 
and that is Roger Giddens and a band, Maya Daniel, Alison Norville, we have Lyndon Fenty, who plays piano, Winston Farrell, Tamara Marshall, Kelly Cadogan. We may have a special guest, but I don't want to at this time call the name. We have Romancia Murray, Nicholas Branker will be there, Marissa Lindsay, Carolyn Leacock, and Jamal Slocum. These are the persons who submitted that they will be available. But if there's any change, we will make that change on the night of the show, surely. Then we have Spooge and Calypso. We have Dance in Africa. Dance in Africa is going to be at both shows. They open both shows. We have Desmond Weeks, Aishaka McNeil, Adrian Clark, and Colin Spencer singing Spooge. Then we have Blood, Donella, Ian Webster, TC, Gabby, RPB, Nikita, and Jude Clark. Those are the names that we have. And I'll tell you something. Sometimes you start something and you don't know how far it will go. Because since then, persons have called, but we have a, a specific time period for the hall. So we don't want to have the show too long because it's not going to be any intermission. It's one straight show, and then we come to an end. <laughs> 